Caitlin and I are getting started for the week. I don't know if you, you can't see Caitlin. There's Caitlin. It is 8 a.m. I've already started the sourdough for the week and made coffee and taken Riley for a walk. This weekend, I got new coffee beans from my mocha pot. I had been using this brand, this like local one called from Peixoto and it was a Familia um, brand version. Um, and it was really, Peixoto has a very strong, potent flavor to their coffee. It's not for everyone, but I really like it. Um, so they produce a very strong brew. This time I got Illy beans from the place, a place close to me that um, I go to get coffee from. And it's not as strong. It definitely was a lot more clear, but I also got it ground really chunky as opposed to an espresso ground. So the mocha pot is a crapshoot, still trying to figure it out. If anyone has any guidance on how to do it correctly, leave it in the comments because I need to know. This week is gonna be extremely chill. I don't think we have anything interesting at all, except for that the bowl type comes back on Thursday. That is the most exciting part of the whole week. So we'll see what we get up to. From your perspective, it probably looks like I haven't moved at all, but it's like 10 o'clock now. Um, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I've been working on my sourdough, answering emails, and just getting through the day. Um, I have been listening to a Spotify playlist, which I don't do that often. I'm definitely an Apple Music person, but I'm listening to this mood booster playlist from Sakura. She's a local blogger in Arizona. I will link this playlist down below. It's really good. Um, it's definitely like, I guess I don't know a good a good way to describe it than like remix kind of music. Um, it's got a lot of like DJs on it. And it's really good. That's usually what I listen to when I'm working. I feel like it helps me focus and just get like hyped and anyway, love it. Um, so listening to that and then I also am making a conscious effort to be shopping and knowing where my money is going from black owned businesses. I think where I was really struggling, one of the ways I was really struggling last week was you know, this movement and this time is so great, but how do we implement it into our day-to-day -day lives? And for me, the first thing I thought of was, I don't know what I own that is a black owned business, or I don't know where my money is going that is a black owned business. And that's something I want to be more aware of when I can and where it's applicable. So I ordered a um, menstrual cup from The Honey Pot, which is a black owned business. And I've been wanting to try one for a really long time and I feel like this was my push to do it. Um, so gonna try that, gonna let you know how that goes. And then I also made a order from Pure Home. It's pure-home.com. And I ordered their multi-surface cleaner and their dish soap. So I'm really, excited to get those in the mail. And then tonight is pasta. We're having pasta for dinner. I think Mondays are my favorite nights because it's so easy to cook. It's so fun. Just boil some water and make some pasta. Um, and then as for TV, we've been watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the original with Melissa Joan Hart. And I think tonight though, we're gonna watch The Bachelors doing this thing for the week where every day they're showing a new, they're showing a different season all the way through of The Bachelor. So we're gonna watch that tonight, probably. Um, and I really wanna take Riley to the dog park. The dog parks have been closing at 7.30 because of curfew at eight, but she, was never a dog park dog. They told me when I got her that she was really scared of other dogs and probably wouldn't be able to ever have a dog sibling or get along with other dogs. So I worked on that a ton with her in the first year I had her. She was going to daycare, she was going to training classes with other dogs. I always carried treats when we were on walks to praise her when she was being good. But in that time, I also took her to dog parks and it was traumatizing. It was traumatizing for me and for her. Definitely cried a few times trying to take her to dog parks. But now that she's been going to daycare so consistently for the last year and a half and also going to 
you know, training and just being a more accustomed dog, I think that it's possible for her to get back in to those two dog parks. So we took her once the other night um, and she walked in, which was a huge step. And we just kind of like walked around the perimeter. It didn't really um, play with a lot of the other dogs. She definitely barked at them to get out of her face. So good honor. And then we just walked her around the whole park to show her like, okay, like you tried and now you're getting rewarded with a big long one around the park. So that's good. Gonna try and do that again tonight because I think it's important to get her with other dogs. So that's kind of where we're at on a Monday. It's over here. You might be thinking to yourself, is all she does sit at the desk in the same spot? And the answer would be yes. Um, it is like eight o'clock at night. We just went to the dog park. Also the lighting is just like, can't make up its mind. I'm now eating some butter pecan flavored almond dessert from Simple Truth, which is the Kroger like healthy brand. And I love this. This is one of, I don't even know if it's gonna focus. This is one of the best dairy-free ice creams I've had in a really long time. I also really like the Ben & Jerry's. Basically any Ben & Jerry's dairy-free flavor is also really good. So there's my ice cream review that you didn't ask for, but love me some dairy-free ice cream. Also love ice cream with dairy, but this just makes me feel not as heavy. So this one's really good. I also tried the salted caramel one, but it's not as good as this one. Get this one instead. My roommate likes the vanilla. But that was basically the day. I just worked. Now I'm going to work on some YouTube stuff. I'm gonna edit a video for this week and close out the night watching maybe some Sex in the City. Sex in the City got taken off of Amazon Prime and so now I need to find somewhere else to watch it. I haven't finished it yet, so I'm gonna need to figure out how to do that. It is Tuesday at 12 and Caitlin is on a call, so I have to be a little bit quiet, but made some sourdough this morning. This is the loaf I'm going to give to my friend Linda. It didn't rise as much as it normally does, but we're gonna get over it. This one was the prettier one. And this was the other loaf, which I've already cut into. It's pretty good. If you know anything about sourdough, it has bubbles, but it's really dense and didn't rise all that much, so. Today is again pretty boring. I'm gonna go see my friend Linda. Linda is from Ireland and I just love her. We used to basically sit on top of each other at my last job. So I'm excited to go see her and her family and drop off some bread. And then we're gonna get some takeout tonight, which always is a struggle to find out what to eat. But I think we're either gonna get um, barbecue from this place called Word of Mouth Grill, which is black owned, which is really exciting, but they just have the best beans ever. Um, or we might get food from the Pomegranate Cafe, which is like a vegan, gluten-free place not that far from us, but neither me nor Caitlin have been there, which is shocking, but heard really good things. So we might do one, we might do both, we don't know. So that should be pretty yummy. Um, I also had a video go live today, which was exciting. So yeah. I have just been the absolute worst at vlogging this week. Um, it is Wednesday right now. It's like almost noon. I'm making some avocado toast and a poached egg. Um, yesterday I went to my friend Linda's house and we did a bread swap and she gave me, I think this is Irish soda bread and then ciabatta. Other than that, I feel like this week I've just been really struggling to not spend money. And that sounds really pretentious, but um, I am terrible at saving and I'm terrible at like, I will just buy things that I really don't need. Like right now I'm in quarantine. I don't need any more clothes. I wear the same thing every day. I wear sweats and all I wanna do is buy clothes. Um, so I've been trying to like limit myself to buying things. Um, but I did Victoria's Secret's having their semi-annual sale right now, so I bought a sports bra. I think it was like 50 bucks I ended up spending. I think I bought like two sports bras and a like bodysuit. Um, yeah, so that's gonna come in next week. But 
it's also just like ugh, I'm really struggling with this like ethics issue of like I know Victoria's Secret's not a good company but I love the products they make I know that they have like all this controversial stuff and yet I'm still making a purchase from them so that's also been something I've been trying to look into a bit more I forget if I mentioned it in this vlog but I ordered from some black owned companies and that's something I want to pay more attention to is who is benefiting from me spending this dollar because I think a dollar is your vote so my water's boiling I need to go Tend to that. okay we're back the egg is in the water um I'm on my tiptoes because you're currently in a cabinet right now there's nowhere good to vlog in this house um I also feel like these vlogs get really boring because it is just in my house and there's not that many rooms so there you go yeah, I just don't know what else to vlog about. I feel like all of my thoughts have been consumed by the Black Lives Matter matter movement. I literally can't say that. I've tried to say it like a thousand times. I cannot say that in concession. Um, but yeah, just being a more conscious spender, trying to save more because who freaking knows in this climate where everyone's going to go. I thankfully have not had a pay cut or been laid off at my job, but the future who knows so i've been trying to be better about saving i think that's something that's really been hard for me oh no pot's gonna boil over ah! this is real life but that's something that's really hard for me because i think i need to move you i need to keep making my breakfast but i want to talk um yeah i think that's something that's been hard for me i think people always say like you need to save 20 percent of what you make and that just seems like so much money to me to be saving 20% of my income, but I know like in the long run, like, you know, Caitlin and I hopefully will next rent a home, like a house, like a, with a yard and stuff. And I wanna travel more, and I at some point need to get a car, which has really been on my mind recently because I'm leasing, and I put way too many miles on this car. So, saving is hard, and I need to do more of it. Um, this is the sourdough I made that I'm currently putting my avocado toast on. Um, but yeah, I just need to get better about it and like when I do photography for someone, I need to think of that more as like, great, this is to this money goes toward your saving goal, not like, great, I have like, you know, more money to spend on clothes because this isn't money I would normally have. It's not a part of my normal income. So I just need to be better about that. So. Do you have any saving tips to like feel better about saving or make it easier? Um, let me know in the comments because I'm just really not good at it. I have propped up in my water bottle so we have a different angle mixing it up. Um, it's almost five o'clock right now. I am just finishing up a few things for work and then um, I need to take a thumbnail for my skincare video, which should have already gone out. And I will put a card wherever they go so you can go check that out. Um, I called it a post Accutane uh, skincare routine because I was on Accutane a really long time ago, but I think no one tells you about the fact that your skin uh, holds effects of the Accutane for a really long time. I had oily grease slicked skin before I started Accutane and now I would consider myself having like dry to combination skin um although I get sweaty I don't get oily as much and my skin is therefore super dry one issue I'm having right now is that I'm wearing glasses all the time and I know you can see a giant red dot and that is where my glasses like sit on my face and it's so dry and irritated because I'm wearing them all the time and then that's where we're at with that. So I'm, I have contacts in right now, but it hurts my eyes looking at a screen all day. So my roommate goes, you wear my blue light glasses. And it's like, okay, I'm putting in contacts to avoid glasses, but then I'm putting on more glasses to avoid the headache. So it's just, there's no good answer at this point. So I'm ordering some new glasses because I've had these since for like two years. And I'm just wondering if the pads have worn down. So I'm gonna order some new ones. These are from Zenny Optical. I've been getting my glasses from Zenny Optical for eons and they're so cheap. I think this is a prescription pair. I think it has like a no glare um, coating on it and it might be like the higher quality glass. Either way, these glasses are like under $100. They're like probably under $50, let's be real. Um, this is my second pair of this specific frame. Um, I have some other ones. I don't know where they are, but I've, I've bought Zenny Optical glasses forever. 
Um, so I'm gonna order some new ones. So when those come, I'll show you, but yeah, I love Zenny Optical and they make really great glasses. So if you wear glasses, check them out. It's super cheap and it's fun to like switch them out um, every once in a while because they are so cheap. You can get like two or three pairs of glasses for like a hundred bucks. So useful little tip there. It's Friday and Caitlin is getting her hair done. I am working right now. I don't really talk about what I do all day or what my job is. Um, I work for a nonprofit, a larger nonprofit, um, and I am in their brand department. Right now I'm building a list of influencers that I think could help spread the message of the nonprofit um, at one of their branches. I feel like you could look at my social media and know who I work for, but it just feels weird saying it. Um, but yeah, so I'm working on an influencer list for them. That's been one of my passions has been bringing more influencer marketing into this nonprofit because that's what I've been doing for the last three years. Um, so yeah, building that list. It's due today. Today's a pretty chill day. I have a lot of like projects due, but I feel like they're all within reach, which is really nice on a Friday. And then I'm also binging all of the Vanity Fair um, career breakdowns. So I watched Kristen Bell or listened to Kristen Bell, um, listen to Anna Kendrick and listen now i'm listening to harrison ford who is my love and i love him forever and i don't care how old he gets he's still bae i still love him so watching that um yeah caitlin's gonna hear that she might be blonde when she gets back i keep saying i'm like you're gonna, we're not gonna be brunettes anymore but i'm like i'm basically a brunette at this, at this point but i wish it was a redhead so we both are living out our full fake potentials here. Aside from work, I'm making sourdough, um, which is nothing new, but I'm making it with cheddar and jalapeno in it. This is the first time I'm adding anything to the sourdough, so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. I may have cut the cheddar chunks too big, so we'll see how that goes. If it's a bust, I'll just make more tomorrow, but I use like my whole bag of flour, so I need to get more flour. This is the exciting life I lead right now, making sourdough, working, and walking my dog. Walked Riley this morning, it was all very exciting, so. Hello everybody, it is Sunday right now. Um, I was editing this video and I realized I didn't really have a conclusion, an outro, whatever. You are propped up on my bed, on my dog's bed, on top of a laundry bed. So we're a little crooked, but it's fine. Um, I filmed a clip on Thursday because I went to Goodwill and it was just super dark and you couldn't see anything so I thought I would do my Goodwill haul now I actually ended up going on Friday as well so um, here is my haul for this vlog so I got this um, tank top that's actually a 3XL but um, I shrunk it a little bit in the wash and it has Timon and Pumba and Simba and it says Hakuna Matata and I thought that was very cute so I found that at Goodwill um and then um my sister actually went to Goodwill on a separate trip and got me these Levi's just some vintage men's Levi's jeans these are always awesome to pick up at Goodwill because I feel like the men's jean section is usually pretty plentiful and so to give reference I'm usually like a 10 or a 12 um, size pant and a 30 what is it a 36 men fits me perfect in Levi's and my roommate um, well maybe a little big but the 34 is too small so these are great I think these were like six dollars um, and then I also got these shorts, which are a little big. I don't even know what size they are. They're a large. They don't have a brand on them. Oh, yeah, they do. Jonathan Logan, maybe? Uh, but they're just basically these paper waist um, or elastic waist shorts, and they have a large pocket on them, and they're just super cute. Again, I don't really love shorts, so these fit really nicely which is shocking so I got those like three dollars um and then I also picked up this shirt which I wore this morning so it's inside out this is a 
extra 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 large men's t-shirt and it's just an adidas shirt um i wanted to get this to wear with like um just some like spandex shorts um and i don't know just have like a lazy outfit so i wanted it to, i needed to be like a little bit longer for it to be a dress but thought that was cute and then i also got a i'm not sure where it is let me go find it the last thing I got from Goodwill I actually wore yesterday, so it's all inside out. But it was dollar day. So if you know, on Thursdays it's dollar day at Goodwill. And certain tag colors are a dollar. So I ended up picking up this like peasant top, um, which is universal thread, and it was a dollar. And you can wear it off the shoulder, but I really like it just casually on the shoulder. It's an extra large, so it's a bit big, but you can tuck the bottom like into your bra or like into your pants and it's really cute and totally my style, as you can see from my rack of clothing, but really like that. And then yesterday, Caitlin and I went to good or went to Target. I got this dress, which was on sale for like 22. It is like a midi. It goes down to like my mid um, calf and it's just spaghetti strap and cute. And then I also got these shorts, which are wild fable and they were only $11 on clearance again I'm not someone who this is my second pair of shorts after that goodwill pair so I'm not someone who owns a ton of shorts so I thought I would give these a go they're only $11 they fit really well but they are pretty short so they'll probably be more of like an in-house like lazing around on a Sunday type um short so anyway that is the shopping I did this week. Um, thank you so much for watching. I feel like this one was a long one. A lot of me talking. So if you made it to this point, thank you. You must be related to me in some way and you feel obligated. But just a lot of thoughts this week. Um, and yes, I'm excited for a new week. And I'll see you next time. You're making it, making it brighter, right through the grave. Oh, 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 oh,